Mads one ten introduction to digital media. The emergence of the internet in the late 1960s for experimental military and academic networks saw the implementation of various platforms of communication to its present day, ranging from online digital chat-based forums based around the principles of anonymity to more recently popular methods such as streaming video on domains such as YouTube, Vimeo, Daily Motion, and that's only to name a few. As the scope and the accessibility for the internet has grown exponentially, the development of a more personalised media flow and the growth of user-generated content has seen the expansion of online media streams such as YouTube to astronomical levels, with an estimated 1 billion users and more than 300 hours of content uploaded every minute. Despite the stereotypical view of how YouTube is geared to function by promotion of videos such as Cat Stresses Unicorns and various Korean videos such as Gangnam Style, used to promote culture shock within a Western societal demographic, there is a much darker side lurking in the depths. As addressed in the Journal of Adolescence Health, authors Mira Thomas, Shirin McKay and Debbie Sousery insightfully illustrate how online user-generated video forums, in particular YouTube, is used to foster socially unaccepted videos such as fire-setting behaviours, especially towards younger demographics. The main theory being utilised is the social learning theory by Albert Bandur in regards to the effect of YouTube as an influencing and mimicking medium for younger demographical segments in contrast from traditional how-to videos. Albert Bandur guides. curated the social learning theory in 1963 with his social learning and personality development journey entry. The theory in essence ties directly into the modular and popular seeing of monkey see, monkey do with direct integration to human behavioural theories. One of Bandura's main academic theories was the conceptualization of vicarious reinforcement and behaviour modelling, which is the ideology that observing a behaviour and the outcome of a certain behaviour, such as fire setting, can greatly influence a person to do said, said act. This argument is further sustained within the study of exposure to fire setting behaviour on YouTube, with experts stating that the online video sharing site YouTube contains a large number of videos depicting unsafe fire related behaviour. This study underscores the importance of this medium as a possible source of deviant influence and learning, which exemplifies how to the, due to the accessibility of said video sources on a public domain can lead to the influencing of very vicarious reinforcement of lighting fires in said manner, as well as creating false opinion climates in regards to the outcome of said action based purely on the ide ideology of motivation within the cognitive behavioural processes in regards to reciprocal determinism. Also enlisted with, with the adoption of Bandura's theory, especially in relation to behavioural modelling within cognitive behavioural patterns, we can see how YouTube can act as a catalyst of programmatic conditioning of an individual due to the accessibility of these personalised video streams, causing a sense of preemptive thinking, especially towards younger, more technologically orientated demographic segment, segments, in direct relation to Miriam Thomas's study of exposure to fire setting behaviour on YouTube.